Hey guys, Grady's mom here with a packing video and review of my new bee set in the Dancing Dahlia print. Now I have known about and been a fan of Jujube for a long time now and I have to say truly no one is you know making me say it or I'm not a content creator for Jujube so it's entirely my own opinion. This is I have to say I think my all-time favorite print um, that they've ever come out with. I just have always loved floral prints, um, not just in bags, but just in general. I'm just always attracted to floral prints um, and just prints that <clears throat> look like this. Um, because um, a lot of you guys have said that, I've heard a lot of people say that this print sort of looks like Petunia Picklebottom. Um, prints, I definitely agree. And actually, I fell in love with Petunia Picklebottom because of their prints. Um, so when I saw this, <clears throat> to me, it was just the best of both worlds. It was that look that I like and the functionality and, you know, being able to machine wash them. Um, and, you know, I just, I absolutely love this print. I love this B set. Um, it's actually a very dark navy blue, the background color. Uh, it looks black on camera to me but it's actually a very dark navy blue um, and today I actually wore this large set piece as a handbag um, crossbody so I have it packed the way that I used it today um, and also I got a new tripod so I'll be able to do a lot more videos hands-free um, which is really nice so I'm going to go ahead first and show you guys. I took the long strap off so it wouldn't get in the way. But I'm going to show you guys how I had it packed today as a handbag. Um, when we went out, I just threw my phone in here. I threw in um, this little zipper pouch my friend Emily got me. And inside here, I just have my ID, my debit card, and... Um, some cash and I decided to put those things in here because my wallet was too large to fit in here so um, my husband had his wallet so I just grabbed some essentials and put them in this zipper pouch which worked out great and I have about I don't know a third of a package of the Burt's Bees um, hand and face wipes for my son's hands or face a fruit snack that he didn't eat uh, a travel Kleenex and then I have a small set piece in Pinky Swear, um, which I had been, I've been using the Pinky Swear set and will st still continue to use it. And in here I just have some mommy things. So some lip gloss, some face cream if like I get dry skin or something, a travel Advil, a perfume spray, a pen, and then just one of these extra large um, lemon hand wipes for myself. So that is everything that I kept um, in the small piece. And I had all of this stuff um, in oops, this uh, large set piece. And it worked really great as a handbag worn crossbody. And actually, I had something else in here too. Oh, I had, um, oh, and there was also, guys, a lip balm uh, hanging out in the bottom that I just threw in there. Um, also in here, I had a granola bar for my son and he ate that while we were out. So that fits in, fit in here as well. So all of this stuff fit in here with no problem. There's actually a little bit more wiggle room, um, if you wanted to fit more in here. And I'm really loving the redesigned large set piece. Um, I really like it a lot. And just this print, I just can't say enough how much I love it. I really, really love it. I love all the colors. Um, I like the print placement on the back a little bit better than the front, but I'm just very happy with this print. In the medium, what I did was I took out what I, um, what I had in my pinky swear medium, which is just a change of clothes for my son. Um, and I was surprised when I first started doing um, the change of clothes in the medium set piece because my son wears a 3T um, and a 3T outfit fits in the medium. So obviously, if you have, you know, a child younger, um, you know, that wears smaller than a 3T, you know, like especially a newborn, you might be able to get a couple outfits in here. So in here, I have just a pair of just gap socks. Um, I don't put them in like that because it makes it a little bit tight. So I just leave them flat like this laying in there. I have a gap 3T. Um, this is like a heavyweight T-shirt and I roll it, and then I have a pair of 3T um, just Under Armour shorts, and I just roll them, like I, I put them in there, kind of rolled like that, and I find that just works better. So I just sort of roll it up, and it fits really well. 
And the socks I just put, again, not folded or not together. And it fits perfectly. Um, I'm thinking when he gets into 40, which is very soon, I don't know if I'll be able to get away with a whole outfit in here because obviously the larger the clothing size is, the bigger the clothes. So the medium piece is really cute. I really like the print placement. I think my favorite flower is probably this one. I really like the coral um, against that navy blue. I, I mean, I like them all. This one's really pretty as well. Um, and I use my short strap on here right now. And then lastly for my small set piece, um, I'm using a bunch of smalls right now. Um, the one that I showed you in my large, the pinky swear I'm using, I'm using my charcoal roses one for my earbuds and my cleaning cloths for my phone and my iPads or iPads. And then in this small one, one thing I wanted to point out is the tag. Um, like for example, on my pinky swear set, even though they're both the redesigned, I'll show you guys. Um, as you can see, the Juju B tag is on the set piece. And this one, for whatever reason, um, they changed that. And there's no longer a Juju B tag on here, on the front. It is now on the side. And I know some people are annoyed by that. Um, <clears throat> maybe just, you know, not, not liking the change. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I'm just not really a fussy person, but I get why, you know, some people would be irritated by that. Um, but the tag doesn't bother me at all. So again, it's now on the side, um, on this little seam here. And then what I'm using this small one for now, um, I had these things um, kind of actually at the bottom of my diaper bag, but they're just these little, my son loves these little, um, they're like these little animals that came with a little Duplo set, just a cat and a dog, kind of random, but for some reason he loves these. So they were hiding at the bottom, bottom of my diaper bag, so I decided to throw those in here, along with these little, he loves these little finger puppets lately. There's actually another one, which I think it's probably in my husband's truck. Um, they're just little finger puppets like this. There's a bunny, um, a little teddy bear, and I think this is supposed to be a rabbit, but I wouldn't quote me on that, guys. Let's see. I don't think it even says. Um, yeah, it doesn't even say if it's a rabbit or not. But there's another one of these, too. I think it's like a little alligator. But he really likes these little finger puppets. Um, and because I don't want them getting lost in the bottom of my handbag or my diaper bag, I just decided to utilize uh, this small set piece for those small things. And like I said, another one fits in here as well. It's just probably in my husband's truck. So that is how I'm going to pack the um, this set right now. And I will use it along with the pinky swear. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to say it's a perfect match. Um, I mean, it's not the best match in the world, but it's not the worst either. So that is just how I am packing the, uh, this Dahlia set right now. But I think it's super pretty. I really love it. And I think it's a great year-round print. I think it can work in all seasons. And I actually think, despite it being floral, I think it's fine for a boy. I know some people have a complex about carrying a girly bag for a boy or vice versa, carrying a boyish bag for a girl. Um, I normally tend to gravitate towards boyish looking things as far as bag, uh, diaper bags. Um, I don't know why that is. I think I do it like subconsciously. But this, for some reason, I feel like is good for boy or girl. And the main thing that I really like is I think it's really good for an all year round print. Um, I don't think it looks too summery or too wintry. I think it's the perfect mix. So I'm absolutely loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it and what I have inside. Hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video.